Okay, it's time. So I think we can start. Hi, everybody. My name is Jan Provaznik, and I'm a developer in discussion team. Uh, I will run the call today instead of uh, Sean McGivern, who is engineering manager of discussion team, but he is on parental leave today. Uh, today. So let's start with what's news uh, in discussion team. Great news is that we have uh, we have a new team member, Chantal Rollison, who joined it, uh, our team this month. And uh, also we will have another new team member, uh, Mark Cho, who will join our team on uh, May, May 7th. Uh, for the second quarter, we are also aiming for one more developer, which will be pretty cool because currently our team is only of five members, uh, with Yarka being on parental leave. So what are the new features which we uh, added recently or which were improved? The first of them is Elasticsearch. Uh, Mario did some uh, improvements and fixes. Uh, first of all, we have uh, new develop developer documentation, uh, which describes uh, which describes how to how to set up uh, your local Elasticsearch deployment if you want it to run it locally, and also there are uh, some fixes in in Elasticsearch uh, token analyzer. Uh, most important them, of them is a fix of uh, kebab set, kebab case uh, words, uh, which is that. So far, if you had a word which was uh, joined by Dish, uh, the Elasticsearch analyzer split it into multiple words. So uh, if you were searching for, for example, US-East, you got matches for a US word and also for East word. Uh, so currently, uh, now it's fixed and you get uh, only desired matches. Uh, another great uh, new feature is uh, subgroup support. Uh, now on uh, issue board list, uh, if you list issues, it's also issues of subgroups are included. Uh, so far, you were able to include only issues of, of uh, projects which are part of this specific uh, group. Uh, the consequence is that uh, now uh, you can also assign labels uh, from all uh, parent groups to, to issues in subgroups. And uh, yeah, thanks Felipe for this new feature. Some of the uh, other great new stuff is that uh, we have a performance improvement in merge requests. Uh, there are uh, some fixes in N plus one queries uh, because on loading merge request page, for example, we were always checking whether there is a local branch. Uh, now this is cached. Also, we improved usage of our uh, Redis cache. Uh, now we cache only uh, highlighted result, uh, highlighted divs of the most recent uh, commit diff, and if a user pushes a new commit, um, cached highlights for older diffs are removed, and we also uh, decreased uh, cache to one week uh, for caching these highlights. Mm. Another nice feature is uh, is uh, commenting thread for epics, so now you can add comments to epics and uh, as you are used to with, for example, issues. Uh, now you can also you can also attach uh, attach custom text to each of the email which is being sent uh, sent uh, by GitLab. Uh, and uh, another nice feature is is that uh, API now returns uh, information about who closed uh, an issue. 
what is uh, what is coming up in 10.8 uh, which will be uh, pretty soon is uh, we uh, will support email notifications and uh, user auto completion in epics so you would uh, be you will be able to use uh, epics discussions similar to issues and the user will get notifications if you mention them in commenting uh, also we plan uh, improved notification settings for groups groups if you set uh, notification settings for one group uh, this setting will be inherited for all subgroups mm. there will be also nice new burn down chart for for group milestones, uh, which was so far available only for uh, project milestones. And also there will be a new uh, API for uh, commenting match requests and uh, commits. So you will be able to add uh, comments to uh, match request or commits uh, and create diff nodes through the API. And even further, in the upcoming 11.0, uh, we will focus on a couple of uh, big tasks. First of them is uh, team dashboards, which is, I think, pretty awesome feature. Uh, as we are used to use issue boards, where you can assign labels by uh, dragging issues across uh, columns, you will be able to do the uh, same, but uh, with assignees. So you can easily assign uh, is issues to, uh, to members in a team. Another uh, nice feature will be batch commenting of match requests. So uh, basically, you will be able to submit uh, comments for a match request in one batch instead of sending 10 emails uh, separately. And uh, we are also planning to do improvements regarding our Rails 5 support, uh, which I don't think we will uh, finish completely, but at least uh, I hope that we will make a major improvement. So that was uh, the last slide. So now, time for any questions. If there are any, let me check discussion. Oh, <laughs> well, will be uh, Elasticsearch available for uh, GitLab.com? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't think we are planning this uh, for uh, any of upcoming cycles. Uh, and Victor already replied. Cool. Batch comments on merge request. Uh, question is if does that uh, mean we will have a status to indicate uh, the review is done? Hmm. Actually, good question. I'm not sure regarding uh, this specific status. Uh, so and that would be uh, the answer. Just jump in here quickly, uh, Philippe. That, that would be a separate feature. I think that's been requested in some other context. But uh, batch commenting that feature is just about uh, sending comments uh, and batching them up together so that you're not sending ten emails. Um, uh, but from a at least the initial iteration, when you submit the comments, uh, that doesn't change the UI of the merge request comment flow. Um, it will still look like, you know, five different comments. Um, so in the future iterations, we would, you know, combine those comments and as you noted, have some maybe have some status of indicate in, in, indicate whether review is done or not, or maybe integrate that with approvals and so forth. But that's um, at least as the feature initially, it's not um, indicating that status. Thank you, Victor. Okay. So, unless there are any other questions, uh, I think that's all, and thank you. See you. Bye. Yeah.